would pack sensitive computer hardware like this? Who would charge 57 US dollars for a 10 year old CPU? And who, I implore you, would take nearly 15 weeks to deliver all my gear? Actually, Linus, it was 15 days. Days? Wow. Well, Wish has improved at least one thing about their processes since the last time we checked them out. But if the rest of this is anything to go by, what is DRAM? Does this remove the RAM from my computer? <laughs> then I suspect this is going to be just as awful as last time. Like this awful segue to our sponsor, Ruggable. Rugs are a hassle to clean, but Ruggable is here to change that with their spill and stain resistant machine washable rugs that feature a non-slip mat. Use offer code Linus Tech Tips 10 to get 10% off your next order. The rules for the Wish PC are simple. Number one, every component must come from Wish.com. Number two, no matter how high the price, no matter how low the spec, no matter how obvious the scam, every part must come from Wish.com. And we are off to a flying start here, ladies and gentlemen, because this CPU, a middle of the road Core i5 4th gen, a 4670K, cost me $57, came with thermal compound goop all over it, and this is the best part, actually appears to come in a counterfeit clamshell. Look at this, it has the same markings as a genuine Intel one, but the embossing isn't nearly as deep. It's like they took an Intel CPU holder and then made a reverse, like a negative of it, and then made their own mold out of that. Hilarious. And it like barely clips together. <laughs> this is so wild. Let's move on to our motherboard, which I'm going to assume is inside this Ooh. nondescript white box. Oh, so I'm sure it's really well packed in there, David. Oh, okay. This actually looks totally fine, other than that there's no packing material in here whatsoever, and it was just banging around in this box. Got our ESD bag, keeping things safe-ish. And this is just your standard ass Gigabyte B85M DS3H. There are a couple of oddities about this one. Number one is it was advertised as brand new, and I don't see a Gigabyte retail box anywhere. And number two, is that it wasn't actually advertised as being from Gigabyte. This was just a listing for a generic B85 motherboard, which in fairness, I guess I got. I'm not gonna complain about getting a brand name one unless the price sucks. Oh, that's actually not bad. 55 bucks? That's like what a board costs. Stickers are a little yellowed from age. <laughs> Otherwise, all right. I think it's legitimately new, just old. The IOs, oh wow, that DVI port's on kind of crooked. That could just be a little QC issue though. I don't think that's anything to do with Wish. Get the CPU installed. I just wanna know what one of these goes for on eBay. I'm just curious. Oh, really? I paid $10 more to get this on Wish than if I'd just gone to eBay? <sighs> well, at least it's brand new. Oh my God, this is my cooler? What is the rationale for this? Fits in the case. It fits in the case? Oh my God, the, in the buffoon. Did you notice this, David? My case is called the buffoon. I know that like Chinese to English dictionaries are really, really hard to come by, but you should invest in one. Buffoon, not a great brand. Wait, it seems they even understood it. They have a clown mask here. Let's focus on our UFOX CPU cooler though. Cool life, meet the future, cool moon. You know how I know that this design is extremely old? It comes with native clips for AMD's socket 939. This design is at least 15 years old. And the way that they achieve compatibility, like they did back then when AMD was the top dog, so your cooler came with AMD clips by default, is with a plastic mounting ring and, oh good lord, some plastic push pins. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely gonna be using this, ah, what the hell? My fingers just went kind of tingly. Oh, I got a sliver. There's a metal shard in the packaging or on the cooler or something. It's not often I get such a bad deal, it physically hurts me. You know how they say the smallest splinters are the ones that hurt the most? Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious is this one ever sharp. Shooting a behind the scenes for float plane? That's what we're doing. Nice, flowplane.com, lots of behind the scenes and great extra content. Well, I'm definitely using this Heinz IE thermal compound soft pack. 
high grade, boys. Dare me to follow this QR code? Yes. David amplifies my worst instincts. <laughs> okay, it seems these guys make all manner of different thermal grease, and they are going to be exhibiting at Computex, or they did. That is some watery goop. <laughs> it's pretty grody. These are some bold claims, by the way, Cool Moon. Hydraulic bearing, super silent, high performance, and perhaps least believable, 120 millimeter fan. Ah, thank you very much for the actually 120 millimeter <laughs> fan. Though, to be clear, I'm not hating on cheap products. If you're on a budget, you gotta cut a couple corners, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's just that when you're not actually saving any money, it really sucks. Oh, actually it was only $13.50. I mean, looking at it, I doubt it's gonna perform any better than a stock heat sink, which you can literally get by the bucket for scrap metal cost, but it's a separate conversation. With all the wild stuff we've seen already in this build, the big question for me here is why is there computer hardware on Wish at all? It means that people must be buying it, right? Look at this. Is this even, is this even gonna fit? This is what we in the biz call an advanced maneuver. You never do this to any hardware you can't afford to lose, but I'm about to use this screwdriver to put a bunch of pressure on this clip so that it can reach the little hook that it's supposed to get on. There we go. Confidence inspiring. This is flipping hilarious. From the packaging, I have no idea what I'm about to find inside this box. Hilarious thing number one. It doesn't know if it's DDR3 or DDR4 memory. Hilarious thing number two, DRAM is D-R-A-M. D-E-R-A-M would be more like removing your memory. I'm about to DRAM my computer. Hilarious thing number three, it comes with screws and a little tiny screwdriver. Whoever used screws and a screwdriver to install RAM? We're certainly gonna try. I mean, the module itself seems totally fine. You've even got like a matte black PCB. It appears to be DDR3 memory. So that answers that question. And just a regular unbuffered dim. These seem to be Samsung chips, or at least they're marked like Samsung <laughs> chips. Well, look, okay, David, not all of us can afford genuine Samsung chips over here. Okay, I just need to put some screws in. Oh, maybe. <laughs> hey, it came with screws and a screwdriver. And I know what you're thinking. Mine is it was probably an accident. They didn't mean to ship screws and a screwdriver with that thing. They did it twice! We ordered two sticks of memory. This one also comes. Oh crap, I just broke this screwdriver in half. It's a quality, quality product right there. As wild as this has been, everything I've seen so far would indicate that this will actually be a fairly capable gaming PC. Oops. Oh no! My RAM's gonna fall out! Oh no, what was the price on the RAM? 35.88 for 16 gigs. Is Wish's pricing not total crap now? That actually seems not unreasonable. I mean, it's more than what we would have paid on eBay, but not that much more. Why don't we change gears and open up our buffoon? I have seen some lost in translation Chinese branding in my day. I don't think I have ever seen anyone knowingly and willingly call their company buffoon. This is the 102A portable small computer case. Not the portable big computer case, the portable small one. CPU eight centimeter. Um, Maybe that indicates how much clearance there is off the motherboard to the side panel. Wow, this is gonna be a really skinny case then. SFX power supply, good lord. You really didn't give yourself a lot of options for the rest of the hardware with this thing. I'm surprised you even managed to find an SFX power supply on Wish. <laughs> Some quality packing material right there. It served its purpose. The case got here in one piece. Yeah, this is a very, very skinny computer case. We can't even fit a full height GPU in here. How much did I pay for this mess? Where's the box? That is not good. That's in US dollars? I can get a Corsair, like 4,000 whatever airflow for that. 
Does this thing have an optical bay? Oh what? my god. <laughs> to remove the five and a quarter inch bay cover. <laughs> oh my God, it has an optical drive bay. I would like an optical drive. Got a filtered intake. At least my motherboard came with an IO shield that almost definitely actually fits on it. Nice. And credit where it's due, unlike the cooler, all the sharp edges of this case appear to be folded over, so I shouldn't slice myself open on it. Five stars, it didn't cut me. Honestly, manufacturing tolerances look pretty darn good on this thing. Every single standoff lines up perfectly. Before we screw this in though, you can see there's a power lead for our power supply because it's gonna be mounted internally over in the front of the case over here, which is really weird. It's got that optical bay, but then SFX power supplies didn't really take off until much, much later. Is this an old design or a new one? I have no idea, genuinely. Oh, Scythe I've heard of. This isn't that bizarre. Hold on, am I missing something here? Oh no, they didn't just repurpose a Scythe box, did they? What's in here? These are not especially confidence-inspiring cables. Is this how grounding is supposed to work? What? <laughs> Where in the world is that the standard? Hey, Andy! I would like to know if this is a thing that you're familiar with. No, not that I can tell. What is this? This is the ground pin. What? Our mainland China consultant says, What? <laughs> if you haven't won an award in that long, I'd probably stop talking about them. Is this a current product on Scythe's website? I must know. No, released in 2014. Look at this. Of the 300 watt total capacity, only 192 watts are on the 12 volt rail. This thing is freaking designed for like Pentium 4 era systems. Wait, but it was made in 2022. God, it doesn't even have active PFC. Oh God, how much did I pay for it? I completely, I, can, I keep forgetting. $28. Okay, all right. And the best we were able to do for, oh my God, I still overpaid. Crap. Not even that clear how this installs, I guess. Whoa! Yay. Hey, thanks, David. Good catch. Um, yep. You can slip your power supply in here, which takes up... Wait, are these also hard drive bays? Oh, wait, no. Oh, order of operations, ladies and gentlemen. Optical drive first, which needs to be screwed in here. Then we can put the power supply in. What are the odds this even comes with enough screws to build it? That's it. How the hell am I supposed to get a screwdriver in there? You see the problem here, right? Yep. Play of the game. <laughs> Crap, it's too small. It won't turn the screw. But wait, it came with its own screws. Oh my God, this screwdriver barely turns its own screws that it came with. Look at this, it's free spinning in there. How the crap balls am I supposed to screw in the other side? This panel doesn't come off. Oh. Okay, there was a method to this madness. All right. Okay, we did not have to do that. I still enjoyed it though. This is not a good design for the power supply. The intake is fine. See that? Fan drawing in fresh air. And then doing what with it? Our cable is just coiled up in here. And this is a solid panel. Where is it supposed to exhaust to? Now, before we put our optical drive in, it's pretty clear that the SSD is gonna mount to the bottom of this plate. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this here, and it's time to open up our SSD. This is from Vaseki, Vaseki. I've actually heard of this brand before. And it is a V800 with a total capacity of 240 gigs. Uh, SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second, solid SATA drive. That's not what SSD stands for. Fun fact, this is not my first base key product. This is the same drive we bought last time for the Wish PC because evidently it's still the best deal. Let's open it up. No tools required, which is nice. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a small boy. There's your controller. There's your NAND flash chips. No branding on them whatsoever, which means these ain't Micron, they ain't Kyoxia, they ain't 
<laughs> anything I've ever heard of. Last time we paid $56. They can now be had in North America for as low as 24. We paid $21. Did we get a bargain? First bargain, base key DRAMless crap tier SSD that I wouldn't put anything more important than a Steam library on. But darn it, it was a deal. Any chances my SSD had of living a long and prosperous life ended the second that I installed it right above this power supply that vents the hot air here, right next to the SSD. Brilliant, genius, love it. If I paid more than $3 a piece for these, I got ripped. $4.95 for both. All right, rock on. We've got some HXS 80 millimeter DC brushless fans with some really quality, quality plastics here. Look at how like textured this plastic is. I'm a little mad about the false advertising. These were supposed to be four pin PWM controlled fans. Clearly, while they do use a four pin Molex connector, that's not how we would have interpreted it. So they're just gonna run full speed all the time, but at $4.95, I guess I'm okay with it. Before I can decide how to install these though, I wanna take a look at my GPU because depending on the kind of cooler that's on it, it could affect things. Who the hell is Kuro Toshiku graphics card? All I know now is that if I game, I need it. Uh-huh, oh. Okay, auto run driver, very nice. Comes with both a half height and full height bracket. Ooh, stylish white PCB. I mean, it's a 1030, so it's not gonna have a particularly beefy cooler or anything like that, but okay, no display port either. Um, that's a bit of a drag. With my GPU probably needing all the help that it can get, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put an intake fan right here. Neither my fans nor my case came with screws, so I had to cheat. I shouldn't cheat, should I? I should only be allowed to use whatever we got from wish.com. I've got some ideas here. No. There were some twist ties on my power supply cables. We're gonna run this through here. Yeah. Look at that anti-vibration suspended mount. Nice, I've got another twist tie. All right, I'm doing it again. And this will be an exhaust. The motherboard install went well, but trying to hook it up, things are getting a little bit interesting. Because our power supply is so old and is designed for motherboards with four pin CPU power connectors, um, we're a few pins short of a load here. We're just gonna have four of them not populated. Uh. Should be fine, right? Fine, everyone? Yeah, yeah great. Fine, good. And our 24 pin goes here. And my goodness, we are just about ready to fire this thing up, aren't we? It's a little bit of wishful thinking, I think. Wishful thinking, I get it. Hey! hey! If I do say so myself, that cable management, looking not too bad. But we've got a couple cables to add. One SATA cable for our SSD, and a second SATA cable. Wait, where'd my screwdriver go? Wasn't there a screwdriver inside one of these SATA cable bags? Did I imagine it? Oh, I was gonna laugh about how my SATA cable came with a screwdriver. Well, sorry, I went and wasted everyone's time then. Let's go ahead, just get this, these SATA cables installed. What a bummer. Are you ready for the GPU now? Yeah. Oh yeah, I just gotta bend this metal out of the way. Oop, got it. Oh, awesome. Wait, how much did I pay for the GPU? $58. Okay, the thing is, I actually buy the stuff for these builds. Wish doesn't send us review samples so that we can crap on them, believe it or not. And we all know that that's what's gonna happen because like they don't carry anything good. Oh my gosh. I don't care about the bad GBs. I'm closing this thing up. Oh, I got a good feeling. This is far, far from the worst computer I've ever built. While our monitor isn't from Wish, the rest of our peripherals are this, wow. Quality. Did, it, did that just slip out? I think I broke it. Um, this keyboard, mouse, and headset set me back $35.10. That is very cheap, which is good. Oh, it's a, it's a Mac style one. Imagine being the Mac user who puts this in front of your Mac. One of the most fun things about this Mac slash gaming combo was that it was basically a loot box. There were three different images on the product page and, oh God, 
Uh, you had basically no idea which one you were gonna get. I guess I, I got the wrong, ow! Damn it, it bit me. Oh, the mic's a little short. <laughs> oh, the front panel audio jacks are not labeled, so I'm gonna guess microphone. Do these even go in? Oh yeah, they do. And I love this mouse pad. It is much better than what you get on lttstore.com. Northern light style, nice stitched edges, non-slip natural rubber bottom. No, no, I would choose this. It's got a lion. Oh, this is not gonna reach. Fortunately, this doesn't weigh very much. Let's go. It's going on this side. Good job, computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 there is a third screwdriver, I knew it. Cause there's a broken one. There was a screwdriver in with the SATA cable. Why? I don't know. You don't use a screwdriver to install a cable. It fell down. Moment of truth, David, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, look at that RGB. You can't control it but they've actually got like four different LED colors in there, which is kind of cool. Oh wow, the fans. The fans have red, green, and blue, and also orange as Oh, it's the optical drive. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, you are not supposed to do that. It's like move an optical drive while it's spinning. Somehow this disc survived and can confirm. This is the driver disc from the last Wish PC. That's fantastic. We're gonna need a new one now though. And it goes. Let's see if these headphones work. Boy, are they ever uncomfortable. Uh, the answer is no, but. Could be the wrong way around. Oh, I heard some static there. Oh, I heard some more static. Okay, I'll well, try, try it the other way around again. Okay, literal garbage, perfect. This is interesting. In spite of us having the latest drivers. Oh wait, hold on. Oh no, yeah, no, it'll do 120 hertz. Oh, heck yeah, at yeah, 1080p. <laughs> Apparently the keyboard has RGB function. Ooh, oh wow, that, um, yes. Red, green, and blue can confirm. I kind of like it. Yeah, she looks pretty decent on camera. Yeah, the mouse has RGB. 20, 24 dollars for this whole bundle? 35, I thought. 35, oh, well, given the headset doesn't work, that's not that competitive. No, the headset does work, I tested it. It doesn't work anymore. I'll try it in the rear IO. Yep. By the way, this keyboard is exactly as awful as it looks. Maybe more. Oh man, I'm hearing a little bit of like popping and static. Yeah, they must have broken one. That was not my fault. The thing just came out. I'm sorry. I just don't think these are worth the effort to try to repair. I mean, I can wear them just for decoration. Oh God, without the padding, they're even worse. Hey, we can get some you know basic performance metrics here. We got hardware info. Our CPU is uh, at, oh, well it was at 40% usage downloading the game. Our RAM is running at its rated 1600 mega transfers per second. Oh my God, I figured out why our CPU usage is so low installing this game. The problem is that our SSD is horrible. It is 100% utilized downloading a game at 28, 30 megabytes a second. This thing is atrocious. The good news is everything was what it said it would be. Core i5, an actual GT 1030 GPU. And is our RAM running in dual channel? It totally is at 1600 mega transfers per second. Unknown DDR3, yeah, tell me about it. I'd like to see how my cooler's holding up. Ah, we're only at 70% usage, but we're also only at 60 degrees. Not bad, not bad moon cool or whatever you're called. I'm expecting some ace tier 1080p gaming because this case was advertised as gaming ready, gaming and dong. Sure wish I had sound. Whoa, 200 FPS. Here we go, boys. Oh, oh we're getting a little bit of stuttering. Oh, wow, ooh, this mouse. Ooh, <laughs> look how this mouse tracks. Oh, no, it's definitely skipping. I can't tell if it's the engine or if it's the mouse, but it's bad. Oh, wow. See, I wanted to turn and it just didn't. When I die, inevitably, when I die, I am 100% blaming this on my computer. How much did I pay for this? 530 Canadian dollars? That's like 400 US dollars. 420 US dollars. All right, that's pretty nice. Just, just, just throw things, it should be fine. 
Should be fine. Whoa, whoa, oh, see, I'm trying to turn. You see that? Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think it's just when I try to go too fast. I'm getting the win, I'm getting the win. Uh-oh. Whoa, what was that? Pfft. Not getting the win. No kills, no win, and it's a bad computer. But hey, at least it was a fun video. MSI, MSI's back to school sale is on now. So if you're looking for a new laptop for next semester, they've got those. Oh, or what if you want a desktop PC that's totally for school and definitely not for gaming mom, I swear. Well, you're covered there too. And if you're into building your own PC, they've got components on special as well. MSI is also doing a Gleam giveaway where you can win sweet prizes, like a full-blown gaming desktop or an MSI GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Gaming X Trio graphics card. Learn more about MSI's back-to-school sale and how you can win these prizes at the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this, maybe go check out the first All-Wish PC or the All-AliExpress build. That one was different. <laughs>